This video is going to be about URL Manager, but it's important to understand your file structure and what you expect your URLs to look like. This URL right here has two uh, aspects. It's a site, which is a controller, and a login. Now you, get, you normally see on a lot of e-commerce sites some really long URLs, and you really want to keep these uh, to a minimum. But let's understand what they're really saying here. This right here is saying, go to the site controller and pass it the action login. Now, looking at our controllers here, we see that there is a site controller here, and in there we'd find the action login. Well, what if we typed in roles? Here in the roles, even though I didn't know about it, I could type it in because what it would do is go to this controller and in this case go to the default view which is index and show it here. So every single one of these right here has uh, a URL associated with it. It's the first name before controller. So what if I wanted to take my roles and I wanted to put an admin in front of it so that that's where you had to go. Well if I just do that here you can see that it can't find admin roles. But I can very easily change that here by creating this folder admin here and then moving the roles into it. I now am going to say that my path is admin roles. But I can't, that's not the only thing I have to do. I also have to move my views into an admin folder. So here's my roles view. Move it into the admins folder. And now when I go to admin roles, I get the same view that I saw before. So this is indicative of my file structure of sorts. And certainly if I wanted all of my admin uh, functions to be in this one folder under the controllers, that would be a good way to do it. Also a way to get to a URL. Once you understand that these controllers all entrances to the URL, what if I want to create a function or a controller of sorts that doesn't have an associated URL? Well, that's exactly what a widget or a portlet is. Let's do that right here, and we put those into components. You notice if I type user identity or controller, nothing will happen in my URLs because it looks only in this folder right here, this controllers folder. But let's get a, a controller that we'll do that with. So here I've got a users controller. It extends the C portlet, which is a uh, inherits everything from widgets. Because this portlet uh, did not get loaded with the application, I have to manually load it here. So I'm just saying from the application, import this widget, which is C portlet, and then this user login extends C portlet. Now all of this is just copied from my site login controller, and you'll see how they look the exact same. I don't just copy the controller, I also have to have a view. Now obviously I'm not going to put it down here in these views, but I'm going to put it right here into the components. So here you see my views. And my user login view is really just a copy of exactly what I had in the site view. So I just copied those over. Well, how would I make those visible? Well, what I would do is I would go into my views, layouts, go to my main layout here, and I'd place that. Let's place that before the footer. And here, I've given it a separate div so that I can move it around and do some CSS action on it. What I've said here is if the user is not, that exclamation means not, a guest, then show this widget, use it login, which I found in the components folder and has its own view. Let's see that actually in action. Here you can see I've logged out, so I am a guest, so nothing shows up. And when I log in, There it is right there below the before the footer. So that little section right there, I can move around by changing my CSS and make it visible wherever I'd like. And again, this is not a controller or access through a URL. Well, what does this have to do with URLs? Well, here in our CRL, you, I'm sorry, in our config, in our main.php, where we've loaded the URL manager, we have these rules. And these rules essentially are saying, with this pattern, this is what we'd want to do. Okay, so we're going to do some simple ones here. You can get very complex with some regex or regular expressions, um, but we're going to just do some very simple ones. The way that I can test this is I can go over to my init 
and I could say, hey, create the URL and then tell me what that is. Now, this goes back and forth. If I go back to here, if I create the URL, I'm going from here to there. If I go to the URL, I'm going from here to there. And again, it's the pattern and then the actual URL. Let's see how that works here. First of all, what is it I'm trying to accomplish? Well, if I go to admin, I'm sorry, if I go to users slash view slash ID slash 13, I get this view right here. That's an awful lot right there. What if I just wanted in password manager, put a 13 or a name and have it go right to this? So let's see what that means. So let's say this is the URL I want, users view with a parameter of ID equals 13. Well, what does that look at like when I create the URL? It says it looks exactly like you did before. And what I want is I want to get rid of this users and view. Now, if I get rid of this users of view, then that means that when I go to that URL, I'll do the same thing. So I'm going to change my rule here and I'm going to say so I'm going to say look for something that just has the ID if you match that pattern where there is no um, no other URL but just an ID parameter then I want you to actually go to this URL so let's let's see first of all if we go in reverse how that looks oh so this says if I have this with this parameter and I create the URL this is the param this is the URL I'm going to create so what happens if I actually go to that URL? Well, we can easily just type that right here. And you see it takes me to right here. And the URL stays the same, even though internally I've changed it to view uh, users slash view. So that's a way to do it. Now, there's some reasons you wouldn't want to do this. Uh, but again, you, after you figure out what your file structure is, this is what you're going to want to do. This is what I want my file structure to be, my URL structure to look like. And I can make this all sorts of things. Um, I can make it look like you for user. Then when I change the pattern, I'm just going to say, so it's going to change it to U13. So now what if I go to U13? Takes me right to here. And this is great for search engine management. Um, and we would probably want, you know, if I was going to do products, I would probably want to have something like this. Isn't that a great URL? It tells you exactly what it is you're looking for. Now I just have to make sure that I have ye configured so that when I have these parameters, I'll go to the right page. And the real page might look completely different. It might look like this. Now this is uh, completely different here. Look at all of these extra uh, parameters I have on here with keywords, Nikon, and, and all of this stuff. Not as friendly. And of course, we can make all of that happen with the Yee URL Manager. And you can make it as complex as you'd like with these rules here. And I just did some very simple examples. I hope you find that helpful.